What's up y'all, we are back with Dying Light 2, and as you can see, we are in a different area. So, off screen, I went ahead and uh, I didn't do anything that dealt with like the main story quest. But, what I did do was, I hit up some of these, like, not that, but like these loot sources. Got some of that. And they had some crazy stuff. Like, uh, I gotta go over to, where is it? It's in my backpack. We got four crystals, uh, some, I don't know if we had that vodka before, and then we got some more wiring, but I used it on, uh, I used that to create, what am I thinking of, um, what's in my, yeah, I used it to get some mods, I got, so I brought out the chopper, the one, uh, weapon that we got from, what's his name, uh, Aider, and then we got the, uh, spark on it threw that on and then found this hat i don't know if did i do that off screen i think i don't know if i did the roadie vest and the hat off screen i think i oh i think i remember now so i did buy the nurse shirt and the uh, archer wrappings from uh one of the merchants and then i oh wait i was, you guys were there for that i'm tripping uh, but I did find some more of the uh, inhibitors, and I turned this into level 2, and got that upgrade for it. And so, I'm just waiting now to get more parkour points, and then we can get the sleek runner right here. And that allows us to uh, navigate tricky obstacles, like, and as you can see in there, much more easier. But yeah, so, and I also... I forgot to talk about, I activated this windmill, and so this is what the uh, Peacekeeper territory for windmills look like. A lot different from what, uh, what was it called, the survivors look like. The survivors look more fun and stuff. This looks way more unified and looks like an actual military base, which is actually pretty cool. So, we are, we gotta head to the uh, bazaar, that's right. And, uh, honestly... I might just skip it to where I'm over there, because uh, it's kind of a long trip. Where is it? It's that way, but it's 400. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll see you guys over there when we're... Okay, and we're here. And so, it's also daytime, but or morning. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad. And getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? 
Not really. But, uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved, then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. I did not like when that, man. Is killed, they turn the place I don't down. care what anyone says. If there's a point where I have to side with him, I'm not choosing him. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Algrodo or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for... A certain transaction. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? 
I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys. That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kinda shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Fine, I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Aren't we here at the bazaar? This is the same place we were here earlier, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work by any chance? No. Because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Back in the day, I had a huge were the chemicals, and massive shed. Well, and a workshop that. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. Welcome, Valuna. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother, huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Okay. So where is that at? Oh, I have to talk to Sophie. All right. Well, out of water. Oh, is it because I killed that dude? They literally have no water. Looking for work? Whoops. All right, Sophie. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. 
Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. Nighttime stories. Uh, nighttime. Oh, it's okay. That's what it was. Alright, so we're in daytime. Morning. Ooh. We finally completed that story quest. Okay, unruly brother. Hold to fast forward. To oh. Is that what we want? How do I fast travel night? I should have done it there, huh? Okay, we got that point, though. Give me that sleek runner. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I don't care for the hints. Um, is it in the journal? How do I, uh, how, how do I fast travel night? Other than sleeping, it's sleeping, right? All right, cool. All right, uh, how far away is it? 200? So where exactly is it at in the map? Oh, so it's by that windmill we already took over. Oh, I, that's easy then. So we can just run over there fast, or sleep till the night, and then uh, start running. The thing I learned though is the night, those night chases when you signal one of them and they get all the fast ones crawling after you, that is crazy. I'm only on like the story uh, difficulty too, so like I can't even I can't wait to do this on like hard mode and just see how crazy it is with like some friends. But oh my gosh. Uh, okay. All right, so we're almost there. Oh, we're basically there. Oh, okay. Let me climb up. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. I just want to get up to the, uh, the windmill. Are we really... Okay, so we're not that far. Where's the... Do they have, like, a zip line or something? There it is. Alright, uh, go up. Alright, uh, okay, I need to find the bed in here. There we go. I don't want to access the statue. Wait till night. And then, come on. There we go. Alright, so we're in the night time. And let's access this real quick. Oh! I hit the sign? That must not... I'm surprised I didn't get spliced. Oh, I looted this area earlier. Okay. Um, let's try this stealth way. Where can I go? Search for Barry. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Okay, let's go loot this stuff real quick. Yeah, there's nothing that comes out of there. Is that him? That's gotta be him, right? Barney, answer me. Oh, he's I'm gonna take your hammer too, thank you. Sophie, Zayden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man, I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Hmm. 
Investigation. Okay. So I just have to scan for the feet and follow the feet. Okay. Can I open this? I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. And that's how we do the crystals. Okay, so I need to hurry and walk past. He went up the stairs. Oh, more shrooms. And it just, oh, okay, it continues on. Climb over. Okay, so there's someone there. And take out. You didn't get taken down. Oh, that didn't signal. Okay, none of them woke up, right? Okay, uh, there's something else to search for, right? Yep. Let me pick, search this real quick before we go. We need those scraps. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm safe to stand up and walk. Fuck, now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Come back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. Can we leave him, let him die. I don't even see the electrical thing working. Okay, all right. Open the they're dead. Oh, no, they're not. Look, he's dead. Oh, okay. How many more do I have to kill? Get back. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, you're dead. All right. All right. I need to eat some shrooms. All right. Uh, can this dude open the door up now, or can we just leave you to die? Because I am very tempting to leave you to die. Barney. Okay, that's it. for some air your sister mentioned you're stubborn she didn't say you were an idiot hey I should beat you down for that here take your radio we're leaving no birdie we gotta find birdie who he lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there if not for him I'd have ended up like Kojak you're in no condition to look for anyone he's just a kid man I promised this old lady I'd bring him back understand he drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find them. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without them. I'll look for him. Find him. He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. 
Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Wait, there was an inhibitor in there. Are you kidding? Oh, shoot. Open the door. Open the door. Blood. Must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. Oh, great. I didn't even think about that. There's still these zombies down here. Open the door. Thank you. Bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Where'd he go? On the hallway? Oh, he climbed up. Get up! What the frick? Oh, okay. I see now. Get, oh my gosh, this is stupid. Get up. Where do I go? Oh, you climbed up. I cannot look up, bro. I just did not be doing that. Alright, I need to go there. Get up. Thank you. Gain your stamina. Alright. Enemies nearby? What enemies? Oh, an inhibitor. I'll take that, and that, and that. No one's down. Who is around us? Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Oh, thanks to you, kid. I pulled it off. Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom? <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. But soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Oh, hell no. Oh my gosh, no, bro. I'm going the wrong way, but nah. There's no way he just did that. He did not care for that dude at all. Oh my gosh, these guys are the bizarre pieces of shit, bro. There's no way. Th 
They say, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. That was so sad for Barney too. He deserved better, man. Oh my gosh, there's a chaser coming out of me. How close am I to the bazaar? They better ex have a damn good reason for doing that to Barney. Just letting me go out there and find him. That man did not need to come out here for your idiocy, bro. Okay, okay. Drop down. Nope, we're just, okay. Is there a place I can jump down? I'm not gonna settle them. All right, sweet. What'd you say? Get inside the bazaar. Shut up. All right, where is Sophie? Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Oh, first chance I get, you are dead. You motherfucker, bro. Oh my gosh. I am, nope, first chance I get, he is gone. All right. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.